Premier in waiting Jay Weatherill is already facing a negative backlash from angry school parents. Their fight against his plans to amalgamate 42 campuses across the state is mounting. Frustrated parents are demanding answers from incoming Premier Jay Weatherall over his plans to merge schools across the state. They say their concerns about increased class sizes and funding cuts are not being heard, despite a costly public consultation process. There has been no communication at all and we have requested Mr Weatherall to attend and look at our sites and meet with us, but um, we are at this moment being ignored. Parents from the 42 affected schools are also upset Mr Weatherall has appointed independent paid experts to the review panels, while their contribution is uncompensated and largely ignored. We get no reimbursement um, to our travelling time or even childcare to attend these review panels. However, his nominees are being paid $100 an hour almost. Despite the groundswell against the Education Minister, he has refused to speak on camera for the second day in a row. Instead, in an email, a spokesperson said the plan would provide more consistent teaching. The Education Union and opposition disagree. The biggest loss for these school communities will be in the loss of a school principal position, but also likely to affect school service officers which means there'll be a direct impact on children's literacy and numer numeracy programs at the school level. Jay Weather will be the Premier. He said he wanted education to be up front and centre under his leadership. This is not a good start. It's clear opposition to the amalgamations is no longer isolated to just a few concerned parents. Those against the proposal are meeting at Largs Bay Primary School on Thursday to discuss their next step, warning their battle is only just beginning. We're going to try and take this all the way to the steps of Parliament House if we have to. GLAUX, 10 News.